Hello my dear followers. Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to be informed about new videos. Baron caught Sevahir and put a gun to his head in front of everyone in the garden. Even though Sevahir provokes Baron and asks him to pull the trigger, Baron gives the gun to Sevahir's father, Nadir Bey, and asks him to punish him. Sevahir, on the other hand, wants to die at the hands of Baron rather than be punished by his father. His father gets angry at Sevahir and tells him not to embarrass me anymore. Afterwards, Mr. Nadir, we keep our promise. He takes Sevahir away, saying that no one should have any doubts. Kudret Bey asks everyone to go inside. Meanwhile, Dylan turns to Baron and asks if everything is over now. Baron says it's over and hugs Dylan. They go home together. At home, Ghoul goes to Dylan and tells him that she is very happy that it is over. Dylan then goes to Azade Hanum and thanks her for being very supportive during this process. Likewise, Ms. Azade thanks Dylan for behaving like a true Karabai. Harun and Yasmin become uneasy when they cannot express their love to each other. However, when they stand aside and think, their anger towards each other calms down. Everything seems to have calmed down in the mansion. However, Baron still does not want to let these things go. Kudret Bey says that no matter what, Nadir Bey will keep his word. Chihan, on the other hand, could not understand how a father could treat his own child in this way. Then, Firet and Chihan get up and come to Kudret Bey and say that we are lucky to have such a father. Baron, however, still continues to doubt the situation. Despite all Sevahir's pleas, Mr. Nadir is determined to punish him. No matter how much Sevahir begs, Mr. Nadir says, You have disgraced me, it is too late, the glass is overflowing. When Sevahir says, Give me another chance, don't put me down, he says to Baron, Mr. Nadir, I will not give you another chance, we have an honor, I promised, and signals them to kill him. However, Sevahir stops him by saying he has one last request. Dylan tells Sabiha Hanim what happened and says that they are now free from Sevahir. Meanwhile, when Baron comes to the room, Dylan finishes her speech and tells Baron how happy she is that the Sevahir issue is over and says thank you for not leaving me without you and our baby without a father. When Baron says he did everything for your happiness, Dylan says I know. Severi and Sevdet talk about how Harun and Yasmin have declared their love, but they haven't noticed each other yet. Then they pick up the phone to solve the crib issue as soon as possible. When Baron asks Dylan if he was really going to go, he asks if it is that easy to go and do you think your feet will go beyond the door. When Dylan says that if I left, life would be very bad without you, Baron says, I would never allow such a thing. Then he says words that make Dylan feel important and caresses his soul. After Dylan expresses his beautiful feelings in the same way, Baron says that we will be together forever. The same conversation takes place between Ghoul and Fyret. When Ghoul says, I want a quiet, normal life now, Fyret sees himself as the culprit. When Ghoul sits next to her and says that being next to you erases everything, Fyret hugs her saying every moment we live with you makes me stronger. Baron makes an appointment to see the baby, and they can't wait to find out its gender. While Baron is at the after table, he says that we could not attend the Foundation's dinner this year. Kudret says goodbye, Chihan and Firet said, we had a hard time, but we are finally safe now. Dylan then calls Gizm and asks if Ms. Azaid has eaten her food or taken her medication. When Mr. Kudret asks what time we will go to visit your mother in Karim tomorrow, Baron says we will go to the doctor tomorrow. While they are all chatting about how they will find out their gender, Ms. Azade watches them from afar. While Ms. Azade is watching, Hassan comes to her and talks as if nothing had happened, Ms. Azade gets angry at him and puts him in his place. While Yasmin and Harun are thinking about the moment they said they loved each other while doing work, they suddenly come face to face. While everyone at the table is giving their opinions about the gender of the baby, Firet makes a bet and says that if it is not a boy, Ghoul will take us all out to dinner. Then, when you ask Mr. Chihan Kudret, he says, 
I couldn't be with you enough to be a father to you when you were little, I will be there for you at every moment and reveal everything to you, it doesn't matter your gender. Finally, Dylan says we think the same, as long as he arrives in good health, we are looking forward to the time when we can love and embrace him, and they start eating. Sevahir tries to get rid of the ropes, where he is thrown with his hands and feet tied. Dylan missed dinner a lot and can't relax even though they took a walk. When they come to their room, they say to Baron, why didn't you stop me? Dylan reaches out to Baron's knee and says, I think our baby will actually be a boy, as if a little Baron will come, a handsome baby with amber eyes, just like you. Baron says I feel like I will have a little Dylan, I think she will be a beautiful, smart and compassionate girl like you. When I say he doesn't feel like being alone and we can do three or four, Dylan says don't intimidate me. While Baron was talking about nothing to be afraid of, I always dreamed of a crowded family and a cheerful crowd during holidays, he saw that Dylan was asleep. The same conversation takes place between Firet and Ghoul. While they were talking about what her gender would be, Firet suddenly said, maybe we can have a beautiful girl like you. Ghoul says, let's spend some time together sooner. Firet then closes the subject by saying, Ghoul, whatever you wish. When Dylan wakes up, she realizes that Baron is sleeping on her knee and wakes up Baron by kissing him. Baron takes advantage of the opportunity and makes her kiss the other cheek, saying it's okay if you don't kiss the other side. Afterwards, he says words of praise to Dylan, tells him that he loves him very much and hugs him. In the morning, the alarm rings. Baron doesn't want to wake up, then there is still an hour left, you just need to get ready, and then I say I will sleep a little more. Dylan gets out of bed saying I'm ready in five minutes, you'll see. Yasmin and Harun arrive at the door of the shop at the same time and immediately get to work. Dylan is almost ready, but when Baron turns on the timer and says that you have been preparing for 52 minutes, Dylan does not want to believe it and when he takes the phone from his hand and looks at it, he understands. Severi is very hesitant about the crib. When Sevdet asks her to go a little faster, Severi doesn't know what to do. When Sevdet says, consult Dylan if you want, Severi agrees. When Baron asks Dylan, have you looked at the stopwatch, how long did it take, Dylan sneers that it took 52 minutes. When Baron says, what should we do? This is our destiny, Dylan says, I feel upset and Baron says he was joking by saying I will wait for you for a lifetime. While Gizm was preparing Dylan's breakfast, Ms. Azade comes and says, Good job, put plenty of cream and honey, let her eat, my daughter-in-law will be healed. Then, on the day of Eve, he gives the list he wrote saying, Prepare a full-fledged table today and tomorrow, here are the things to do. When Dylan comes, Ms. Dylan says your breakfast is ready and goes to check the pantry. When Ms. Azade asks if there is a problem with the baby and finds out if there is, she tells him what a good mother she will be and leaves him, saying don't make him wait for breakfast. While Sevahir was struggling on the ground, he said, I have to get out of here as soon as possible. At that moment, Mr. Nadir called his sister and she did not answer. You are both a disgrace to this family. When Sevahir begs, don't do it, dad, let me say goodbye to him, Nadir Bey says, I will try one last time then I will punish you and get rid of one of you, and walks out. When Mr. Kudret meets with Mr. Nadir and tells him that Sevahir has one last request and then he will do what is necessary, Baron becomes conscientious. Mr. Kudret, Chihan and Firet Sevahir say that he does not deserve your mercy, he almost killed all of us, men and women alike. When Baron says that everything is expected from him and his family, Mr. Kudret says that that job is over now, my son Nadir will keep his promise. Dylan comes and says that the appointment time is approaching, and while Baron is getting ready, Firet and Chihan warn us to wait for news as soon as they find out the gender. Mr. Kudret is happy that he is becoming a grandfather, no joke. You can share your valuable opinions in the comments section. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for more videos. See you in the next video. Take care of yourself. Goodbye.